Dream Team, it's your boy D Neil. Back with another reaction video, guys. Here we are with Muhammad Ali, the greatest, greatest Ali video on YouTube, part three. Uh, this man is just absolutely phenomenal. One of the greatest athletes in in the history of sports. But that and, and even more than that, just an even better person. Uh, before we jump in, though, make sure you subscribe to the channel, ring the notification bell, give the video a, th a thumbs up so it gets suggested. What do we got, Ali? Scientific, the greatest fighter of all time. Everybody was scared, but Muhammad Ali himself. And Ali is getting the people to expand. Ali. <laughs> Have you fought many guys who are talkers in the ring? No, I never get a chance to talk much. <laughs> <laughs> By the time you get to know a fella, it's all over. <laughs> <laughs> Discussion centered not on who would win, but on how much punishment Foreman would dish out. The time may have come to say goodbye to Muhammad Ali. And now we understand that George Foreman is about to make his way to the ring. Because very honestly, I don't think he can beat George Foreman. Cosell was convinced that Ali was washed up. This guy was the closest thing to a human monster I, I'd ever seen before. He was certainly the scariest boxer. Look at this now as they stare. Muhammad Ali beginning to talk to George Foreman. They're really putting the stare on each other. I looked him in the eye to stare him down and said, Oh, George, you were in school when I was beating Sonny Lister. Gone in the past <laughs> <years> beyond <laughs> two rounds in any fight. Oh, oh my God. He knew that the one weakness in, in this monster who was thought of as unbeatable was his stamina. The first round, all of us yelled out, get off the ropes. And he would just say, shut up, I know what I'm doing. Well, I would say that the, the round was very even for that scene. And Ali totally got into the guy's head, and he didn't even realize it. It was... Muhammad Ali's fertile mind that created the rope with those. Here we go, round number two, the determined Ali got off his stool uh, between rounds. Uh, sat down all the way. Uh, Ali leans on the rope. Uh, uh, in the uh, uh, starting second and third uh, round when he went God, to the ropes, hey. he's calling woman all kinds of names. Any name of ugliness you can think of. Oh my God. Hey, hey, he was on the ropes, but my, my boy was eating still so bad that bang, bang, bang. It hit a quick three and then form on the swing and bang him up a couple times and then I leave that pawn. Bang bang. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, he rope it open and he was taking a punishment, but he was still dishing some punishment out during this rope. Any name of you can just like a, your initial boss God, hey. take it with it. This time he did it with character. He said, hey, I'm gonna weather this call. Oh my God! Uh, oh my God! Muhammad Ali that night. I must say I don't understand those tactics, Joe, of staying on the ropes and letting him hit. It just him. shows you the power of intellect and intelligence and how that can compete against anything. And believe me, I was a big, powerful giant in the ring with Muhammad. I mean, a knockout on him. He stood up to me. Oh my! Oh my Lord! Ugh! So young, so strong. Not supposed to do it, leaning up against the ropes. Four punches God. on the stairs. So fearless. I had him beat. I really oh beat. my God. I really thought I had him beat up in the body. Yeah, he's laying, bro, Foreman is landing some tough shots. Bro, you got to give up to the heart and the absolute chin. The chin on Ali. The body on Ali, because Foreman was definitely landing some punishing blows. They had him tired. And Ali's just taking it. Just taking it. George Foreman mm. does away with his opponents one after another in less than three years. George not going that type of distance a long time. He was treading in water, you know, never been in before. This oh. is the furthest that George has oh. gone in a fight since 1970. Oh, my God. This is the right hand. Ali is definitely confusing it. Missing the shots that he missed, it drained him. Look at Foreman's face, he does look tired. Nobody knew the strength of Muhammad Ali. 
He was manhandling him, just like Archie said, grabbing him, and he emptied the guy's tank. I was afraid he was going to get killed by a George Foreman. Uh. Many of our young viewers don't. Uh. Oh my God! Uh. Perfect timing. are so accurate you gotta give a shout out to joy for being exhausted and taking these these punches too bro because these punches are so accurate and so fast bro uh sheesh uh, oh he's so nice with it Look, bang. oh my god bang. bang oh my god oh my god I thought he was hurt, I thought his body was hurt. He came back, he hit Foreman with everything, and he winked at me. Oh, yes, there's no doubt about it. He winked right over here to this corner. You know, the guy really was the people's choice, and he was the people's choice because he loved them. Yes, I'd hate to predict it any fight, but my goodness, those people who said Foreman would win in a flash have certainly been proved wrong. And about this. Seventh round, he asked me, that all you got, George? That, that was like a nightmare. After a while, even the dumbest of us looked up there and said, you know what? He's winning. Mmm. Oh, my God. Bang. Bang. And he could have hit him again. It's the grace. The great, he, he could have, he could have really clipped him one more time on the way down. Uh, but he just let him fall. Just let him fall. as the world's most famous man and indeed it's difficult to think of even a contender i told you i'm the type of the world as you know there's been a lot of speculation about your condition there was a suggestion for instance that there was brain damage oh my oh my lord i mean you know yourself i've been here a couple of times but i've never been Bro, Joe Frazier. Oh, he did so much damage. They did so much damage to each other, I'd say. They, like I said uh, before, they took each other to hell and back. Like, they pushed each other further than the human body is supposed to go. Neither one of them wanted to back down. Neither one of them willing to take a step back. Both of them wanted to win so badly that they were willing to suffer in hell to win. Or suffer through hell. You, you know yourself. I've been hit a couple of times, but I've never been knocked out. I've never been stopped. I've never got hurt. It's strange. strange. Oh, you must have got hurt in the ring. Yeah. Well, I mean, I saw you fight Joe Frazier. He was the greatest because he was a fighter in every sense of the world. Muhammad Ali was not worshipped. He was actually vilified. He was a rebel with a cold cold. Mm. Due to repeated blows in his head. Repeated blows in his head. Oh my God! And you've seen what can happen to fighters. You've seen those shambling wrecks that go around. You see them at every boxing occasion. And what people are frightened of is they don't want that to happen to you. 
Several times he landed very hard punches on Ali, and I thought Ali was gone. Oh, now doubly hooking with that left hand. Oh my God! Two of the greats, okay, going at it, nearly killed each other. Between rounds, before the tenth, I heard Ali say something to you that I never heard him say before. What was that? Man, he said, "This is the closest I've ever been to dying, really." And I said, "Well, now we got to separate the men from the boys." Courage that he had in the ring to take life-threatening punishment as we saw him take oh those are horrendous fights those are horrendous Jeez. fights. right and then i want to retire this is too painful it's too much work okay. might have a heart attack or something All i want right. to get up and go out while i'm on top there's no explaining why a guy comes back away the glamour the allure the lights i would think that muhammad ali will have won back the heavyweight championship for the third time 11 years older than spanks with muhammad ali Jeez. retirement was a dirty word muhammad ali now in the ring awaiting the arrival of Larry Holmes. And he was really Ooh. suffering from Parkinson's already. He was, was already, he really? Yeah, I was already kicked in. Evidence of some speech problems. Ah. Which I never should have taken. Larry Holmes you teeing off on him. Ali gets to his feet. Come on, Episode Ralph. For the 10th round. Come on, Ralph. Come on, man. I know Larry didn't want to do it either. I know it was hurting Larry to do that. Because you could definitely tell he wasn't the same Ali. That, yeah, come on. He was a shot the fight. Was a box at that particular moment in time. And it actually broke Larry Holmes' heart. My God. Yeah, it was like, it was like hitting a slow-moving heavy bag. Game's over. Oh, I'm on the cheat oh, second. All right. I stopped the fight. All right. Muhammad Ali's story is, is a triumphant story because because he did triumph and he did change his own life and he changed the lives of so many other people. He was kind of a skinny black kid. Uh, the first fight I put him in, he weighed 89 pounds. Heavyweights Jimmy Jones and Cassius Clay square. Impossible is just a big word thrown around by small men. How many? who find it easier to live in the world they've been given than to explore the world they have to change. He was somebody that had principles. He stood for something. The world lost a true icon, Muhammad Ali. You're being extremely truculent. Whatever truculent mean, if that's good, I'm there. Ali forced us to take a look at ourselves. Oh, another right hand! This brash young man who thrilled us, angered us, confused, and challenged us ultimately became a silent messenger of peace. Round five, the champion Ali says, I'm putting you away now. Get ready, you're going down. He was one of the most influential people of the 20th century and one of the most dominant athletes in the history of sports. I'm the greatest of all time. Well, Cassius, how do you rate yourself as a fighter? I wouldn't want to do too much bragging about it, but everybody that watches me fight or everybody that has witnessed one of my Bouts, they say that I am the greatest that they've ever seen. And he whispered in my ear, Little brother, you made my life better than it was. I am the greatest. But didn't he make all of our lives a little bit better than they were? Um, bro, shout out to the greatest of all time, Muhammad Ali. There will never be another one. That's all we got. You guys got a favorite video suggestion? You can subscribe to Patreon or drop it in the comment section. Subscribe to the channel. Ring notification bell. Get a video a thumbs up so it gets suggested. It's your boy here. Out.